Welcome back to week 10 of our Nighthawks Relocation Fantasy Draft franchise. We are coming off of a very interesting game, to say the least. A game that one would argue we should not have lost. Of course, if you have not watched that, I absolutely recommend going and watching that. The win-loss, you know, it's cool and all, but the actual result, the way it happened, is kind of like a must-see. There were some unlucky things. There was some just bad play calling. There was some bad execution. And to give credit to the Jets, there was some good defensive play as well. They actually did lock up at times, especially in the clutch moments, very well. I mean, there was plays where we, you know, had the defenders on us before we even ran the route. You know, they were ready for a lot of our calls. And unfortunately, we had a deep shot that we just... It was crazy. It was just a crazy game. And uh, it came down to the final play. I mean, I'm trying to think. Actually, we didn't have any timeouts. So even if we caught the ball, I suppose it probably wouldn't have mattered. But yeah, now, I, now that I think about it, why didn't I just say that? I was like, I, you know, we could have changed the way we caught her or something. But there was no chance. It was literally, no, you go for the possession, you lose the game. Had to go for the rack. Almost happened, but quite, you know, just didn't quite happen. Anyways, though, let's go on to week 10. See if we have another breakout because we're kind of on a streak for breakouts. And we are. We have another breakout. I'm trying to think maybe Ferguson, perhaps, it could actually be. Let's take a look at the player of the week, though, real quick. Probably Devontae. And Tavon. Oh, but Woolen. Okay, but fair enough, Woolen. Maybe he has a breakout this time. Two interceptions and a forced fumble for Woolen. And Devontae Adams and Tavon Young with players of the week on the other side of the conference. Of course, you know, kind of looks like a little bit of boosting, if we're going to be honest. But regardless... Let's take a look at our roster. Take a look at their roster, which we've already played recently enough. But in case you're new, maybe you haven't seen it. And maybe they had some injuries. Maybe they made a trade. I don't know. This is what the squad looks like. Devs and all. Ferguson could be the guy here, which would be amazing. Because I'm not saying it's easy to get, but it's it's probably a little bit easier to get than Woolen going to Superstar as he's already a star dev player. Uh, but yeah, I mean, failed the Tyson Anderson breakout last week. Really disappointed by that, and especially since he was probably primed to get 10 to 20 K XP, but that's kind of a thing of the past is that's just completely gone. Uh, let's go and take a look at their roster. Like I said, I know they have Mahomes, but maybe he's injured. I don't know. Highly doubt it, but yeah, let's take a look. So Mahomes is in no injury there. Cream Hunt's not injured. Love that. Calvin Ridley, Rondale Moore and Diami Brown. Everyone looks pretty healthy for them. Great, great offense. Once again, we probably could have and should have lost to them last time as well, but we actually were on the receiving end of a couple of turnovers ourselves. So if we don't play a perfect game, but they do, or just they do in general, we might be in for a long game. So can't take this one too lightly just because we beat them once. Of course, Stephon Gilmore has made some crazy plays against us in the past as well. And they have playmakers all across the field, obviously, mainly on offense, but still some on defense as well. And before we decide on how we're going to play him, we got to figure it out. And it's Caden Stearns. That is a bit of a surprise. The position and, in general, like, the player. Superstar development trade for Caden Stearns. We definitely need some help in the secondary as well. So, if he got that, that would actually be huge. We'll try to see what we can do about it, but I don't know if there's much he can do. Booker with an upgrade. Um, Can I, can I have it, please? Thank you. It worked. Took a little while to get there, though. Two to man, one to zone, one to tackle, one to excel. Yeah, maybe it is worth just going slot. Of course, very, very good already, and he's so young. Obviously, uh, wait, did it actually? I didn't notice that. I think they showed us Booker's dev, actually, which just so happened to be star. So all of the youngsters we got were all star. I really thought Booker was going to be superstar or an X Factor. I ain't going to lie, but clearly not. But that's okay. That's okay because they're still really good players. And yeah, let's try to get this dub. Try to get back on the win streak. Get on the right side of things. And uh, Sean Wade, I didn't even know he was injured unless he was injured in practice or something. I was wondering where he actually was. But he's healthy. He's back. Buddy and Commander. More like Buddy Nighthawk. We're not the Commanders, idiot. Like and subscribe. Another primetime game. This time a Monday night primetime game. And this time also at home. Out of our left guard, I think we are also healthy, which is nice to see. And yeah, let's. Uh, holy crap, our deep percentage completion is. Uh, completion percentage is pretty good. 
It's not bad. All right, no messing around. Let's get right into this thing. We get to kick first this time, which I suppose is technically what we like to do a little bit more than receiving. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, take a look at Mahomes numbers, who actually weren't very good last time we played them, if I'm not mistaken. And they uh, are, I mean, they're getting better, but pretty sure the numbers were awful last time we played. First and 10. Quick play by Burns, of course, a really good cutback, but right into the arms of Jordan Davis, who is not really a guy you want to try to go against. He is an absolute tank. First play, you can see just, I mean, he goes in, doesn't come out. Comes out, but back through the way he came, so... Yeah, not a not a great run there for them to start, which is impressive for us. Of course, offensive line talent, not as good as our previous opponent. But still, they've got a little bit there. Is Tyndall, we're going to miss hard. Anderson's going to miss hard. It's going to be a first down. First and 10 from the 37-yard line. And dropped. Scott just dropped a pick six. No, Scott, no. Mahomes has got the ghosts again. He's just like Sam Darnold. The outside and absolutely trucked over as well as Booker by a uh, an offensive lineman. I guess really more of a pancake. But third and eight from the 39-yard line. Obviously, Stearns, we're hoping, can have himself a day, get himself a breakout. And they're going to throw it underneath, and it's overthrown. What is wrong with Mahomes? He's actually broken. What is going on with this guy? Of course, last game, you know, he had a bad game as well through a couple of picks, but really put up a ton of yards on us so we're really hoping that that's not the case this week just make it clean and Langley well, not really going to get out of there clean it's going to get us to the 22 yard line gamble of course had those two interceptions but also had three touchdowns so wasn't able to run around as accurately or not effectively as he normally would be but you know even with that being limited was able to kind of gather himself pick apart the defense the way he wants to and ultimately we just kind of gave up too many points. And that is a wide open Hawkins, who I almost didn't see. Cut move inside, and it's a 78-yard touchdown for the little man. Look at him go. Oh, that is unnecessary. Come on, man. I know you're feeling salty, but the man beat you. Let him celebrate. Yeah, look at that. This is what he did to your mom. Open up those legs. Woo! What? Of course, almost didn't see him, because I just didn't expect him to be that open, but... Got just enough time, and it was on the money. Perfect cut inside. Gilmore gets torched. And look at the yards gathering after the catch. Over 55 yards after the catch. I'll tell you, that's one way to get on the board. I'll tell you. I'll tell you again. You want me to tell you a third, fourth time, maybe? Uh, oh, that was a good play. That threw me off as Calvin Ridley's going to gain about seven. Kind of contained the edge with Stearns, but there was two people there, so you couldn't really make a play on it, unfortunately. But after the first play being only two yards, they are still short of the first down by two. As Maddox going to get the spin move, forcing a little bit of issue, and there goes Mahomes. No! What is wrong with him? He's actually broken. He has the walk-in first down and instead almost throws a pick. It should have probably been a pick. I'm honestly not sure how it wasn't. What is wrong with him? Nah, we were, we were trying to cut inside that lane. We should have just kept our momentum going. Either way, speaking of momentum, full momentum with ball. Mahomes has lost his mind. Get the block from the fullback. Maybe look deep to Ferg. Maybe could have had him, but we're going to run it. This gamble. We are going to fumble with gamble. I really thought we slid early even. How are we not getting down on this? What is this? How? That's an early slide. Let me not even early, but just like on time. But regardless, kind of an unforced error in a way. Is that Tyndall against Gasicki? Get over there, dude. It's a good out route to, I believe, uh, Diami Brown. The abdominal tear as well for Sky Moore. I wonder why they were showing him. I was like, he didn't do anything wrong. Abdominal tear for Sky Moore, who has kind of been sucky for us. I ain't even going to lie. Perfect defense by Tyndall, but a little bit of an underthrow there to the uh, wide receiver again, using the tight end as uh, bait. Nine yards for Diami, who gets back-to-back -back catches. I'm going to be so mad if Tyson Anderson makes a play this game. Good tackle by Jabril. 
Still a gain of six, though. All right, we got all the wide receivers in. We're playing, my, you know, man coverage. I'm going to say Minecraft. I don't know what that is. Nice hit, Stearns, but no forced fumble. Stearns needs two. So if we couldn't get with Tyson and he needed one, I'm just saying, mathematically speaking, I'm not feeling great about it. That's a good try by Stearns. Forget the, you know, forget the breakout. Just literally trying to stop Kareem Hunt. Of course, uh, will lead to a touchdown, which because of the fumble, will kind of put them right back in. And of course, the specialist Wade is back on the edge. Has a little bit of a down year compared to previous year on blocking kicks so far or getting even close to it. But you just never know with that guy. Just same with Nwangwe, who's already gotten a kick return touchdown of the season. He's broken a couple of frees, you know, made some look good, but I was kind of wondering if he was ever actually going to get all the way, and we just fumbled again. What a tackle by Browning, but there's a chance his knee might be down, but whether your knee's down or not, that's kind of irrelevant at the point. You should never be letting the ball go unless literally the whistle's called. The whistle needs to be blown, and you need to be sleeping. You can see here, he's still going down, still going down, and yeah, he's down by quite some time. 2 Atwell on the edge. Good blocks. Nice spin move. 2 is going to get him out 9 as Gilmore is not able to stop any sort of juke move so far. Of course, that will count as a pass as well on top of it, which we love to see. Read option. Read that edge. They don't see it. We're going to cut it inside. Don't fumble. Thank you. Gains of 4. Ferguson playing that outside again. Let's see if maybe he has a chance deep. Might have. That's a tough one. Almost picked by Gilmore. Almost caught by Woodley. It was kind of a 50-50. Had to wait a little bit because that underneath corner had a chance to jump it if he decided to commit, which he didn't. Looking for the deep shot to Tutu out. Well, I don't know if that's going to be a good decision. And Ferguson's wide open on that. Sort of drag look. Gains about 15. I don't know if I like the run plays out of this. Like, it's just, it's kind of like, you know, read option or nothing. That's a nice little cutback after maybe taking the wrong lane. I thought the fullback was going to go all the way to the right. He didn't, so we cut back to follow him and gain three. A lot going on in this play. We have the comeback route from Ferg. And there goes the tight end who is wide open. Would have liked a little bit better of a throw, but Woodley turns it into a gain of 10. Would have been nice to see that a little bit more out there so he can just run into it, but... It worked. It's fun. RPO look. And that is a really good jump by number 37. I mean, Ferguson's really good on those slant routes. The corner's off him. Nobody steps up. I figure that's you know, about as easy as you're going to get for a completion, but I guess not. I don't know if the ball sailed a little bit, but second and 10 screen pass. Haven't run one in a couple of weeks, and that is an amazing, amazing play there. Oh, no. The ET getting up in there and swatting that one away. Still, just don't make a mistake because we should have a field goal. And the tight end. Sit down. Nice. Good job. Sounded like a kindergarten teacher with kids that won't listen. Turner, huh? Don't know how to feel about that. Screw it. I don't know why I say screw it like it's going to make things happen. Woodley is not a jump ball receiver. He's six foot five, and he should be, but he just simply is not. He runs away from contact. Like, he literally is so scared. It's not a good read by anyone's measure. Uh oh. No, Jabril. Good job, Tyson. He's not a good, like. I don't know, dude. It's, it's so annoying. Like, what's the point of being big if you're a little wimp? You know? Stern's trying to jump in there. Tyson Anderson just completely misses. Tyndall, of course, does not miss often. Going to be a third and two. Maybe we can erase this field, you know, not field goal, but field goal waste, if you will. The out route to the tight end that we should not have went with. And Stearns misses the tackle, but he does enough to help Tyson Anderson get there, forcing the punt, thankfully. You know, it's just like we don't feel like we can waste a down. Like we want every single down to have a chance, but like... You want to have a chance to score as well, don't you? As Wang Wu maybe could have trusted the blocks more and went all the way out, but running straight as well got him past midfield. We go with the wheel route with 2 2 Atwell. Tight end is wide open, and Gamble may be feeling a little bit of the pressure after that interception. I mean, I'm not the one telling him, hey, if you don't start picking it up, you're gone. 
Like, does he not have a freaking... Uh, Tutu, why is Tutu Atwell not... Thank you for the catch, but why is he not coming back to the ball? He keeps running downfield. Like, come on, dude. Good catch, though. Great throw. Good catch. Tutu Atwell might have the speed. I need freaking Mason to get out there on that edge, though. I need you to block. Doesn't really, but Tutu Atwell's got the speed, and that's a touchdown. I don't know if that was behind or in front. I'm hoping it's a pass. And of course, it will be a touch pass. I, I couldn't tell if it was a touch or some sort of reversal sweep. I'm pretty sure it was just a touch, though. As Tyndall's going to pop Kareem Hunt. Of course, if this was Tyndall's breakout game, he would uh, have one of two. But unfortunately, it not be that. As this is a very tough man coverage across the formation here. Going deep on Kareem. Hit as he's throwing. Stearns with the pick. Run, Stearns. Spin move back inside. Oh, if he had a touchdown, I think that counts. Either way, we'll take it. It's a gift from the gods. Look at him celebrate. Loving it. I thought he was going to find that, you know, kind of like, it wasn't really a crosser, but it was like kind of crosser distance to the right, and he just didn't throw it. Of course, you can see here Gamble's got some room. No blocks. Gamble's going to try to get all the way out. A little risky on a fumble chance, but taken down by Deron Payne at the 9. I don't know how the hell Deron Payne's the one to bring it down, but sure. Of course, Woodley on that out. I don't trust Woodley with anything these days. Gibbs on the inside on the five-man front. Good blocking. Never mind. I'm sorry, Woodley. Okay, maybe you're not a good jump ball guy, but apparently you're a good blocker. He just blocked two players. Once again, we talked about it. They make mistakes, we capitalize, we make mistakes, they don't, you know? That's kind of the big difference so far, is Jordan Davis going to stop them for a gain of one on the ground, who we'll say last week, Jordan Davis really wasn't great, but so far this week he's doing well. Come on, Drake Jackson, let's see you wake up. Only one that hasn't really contributed, and there's a screen pass, Jabril. I am surprised he got that. He kind of got picked up last second by the blocker, Kind of shucked him away with one arm and did what he had to do. Get a little bit closer. Who's that even? Number four. And Booker. Oh, Stearns. Oh, it's not even Stearns. It's Tyson. Good job. Mahomes is getting locked. That is another factor of it. I, I just kind of ignored it because it just seems like it's almost impossible. But if we can hold them to under 150 yards passing, Stearns gets his breakout that way as well. Uh-oh. Kind of going the wrong way here a little bit. Woodley on the deep. Can we block? Because I'm going to be honest. Turner ain't got any chance here. I'm taking that. Oh, my God. He just... I almost feel like he didn't aim it. Like, the accuracy was technically there. But, like, because it was such a deep throw, it's just like he wasn't even aiming at him. He just yeeted it up there. But, yeah, I mean, Woodley had the look. Did they do it again? Oh, my God. That's really good coverage. But perfect throwing. I don't know why it sounded like the cat in the hat there or something like that, but that's an amazing, amazing throw. Holy crap. Ferguson on the interior is a good blocker, so I'm going to hand this off as 97 kind of waited for us. 2-2 Atwell on the wheel. This is obviously not man coverage, so might be able to get away with a slant from Ferguson instead. We could have, too. Wait for the tight end to sit. There you go, buddy. We saw you. Don't worry. I know the defense didn't see you, but we saw you. We just didn't want to carry you out of bounds. Good throw. I thought he was going to maybe overthrow it anyways, but he didn't. Our boy was there. He did all right. Kind of looking for Woodley in the back of the end zone, maybe. And there goes 2-2. Threw him open. Touchdown. Of course, he was already open, but you know what I mean. I threw him into the end zone. I don't know what it is about the Washington football commander team, but it's just like this Mahomes fella. He's just so bad somehow. I mean, even that was almost picked. Booker almost had a chance at that. If he would have actually went and laid his body in the line for that, which, I mean... Chance at a collarbone injury, maybe not something I want him to do, but if he did, he probably would have had a pick. It's an underthrow, and once again, almost throwing another pick. Jesus with this guy. He's lost the touch. He kind of got beat, and it's a pick six for Woolen. Bench him. Don't actually. I do not know what's going on with him. 
Mahomes is some trash. Or maybe we're just like his kryptonite. I mean, we've seen it with other teams, other quarterbacks that are just normally great. But we're smoking them. Come on, guys. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, come Oh, lads. Boys, come on. Kareem Hunt just broke like four tackles. You've got to be joking me. Of all the players. I mean, he is probably their best player to do that, but just in general, like, why? Tyndall and Carmichael, good job. 35 points in the first half. That is some sort of score. 41 yard line. Thought maybe it was a screen. Oh, we came out there quick. Tyndall misses, though. Jabril misses, even. We baited the hell out of that, and of course, we just can't finish a damn tackle. Holmes actually thought that was open. He was just lucky that his freaking guy bailed him out again. It obviously just wasn't open. There's a good throw. Obviously an easy one. Can we tackle him? No, we can't. That's the answer. Literally going to have more broken tackles in this game than most running backs have all season long. And normally I'm like, ah, it's not over. Which technically, if you really want to get technical about it, it's not. If we're able to score 35 in the first half. How come they can't score 30, uh, you know, 35 in the second half, which would give them the lead if we don't score another point? As Burns makes a play. Stern's huge hit. If he forces the fumble there, that's superstar development trade. But unfortunately, he does not. And here it is. Two-minute warning passed. And now we're bringing a little bit of a press, not a blitz. As Stern's going to get picked up perfectly on the run. Drake Jackson forces the throw away. Good job. Just don't let him break contain and run that in. You know, he'd probably run all the way to the line and then throw it across his body for an, almost an interception because he's literally busted. He's actually broken. Screen pass. Oh, we just got freaking taken out. Holy crap, dude. A little bit just so he has a better chance at it. Not that far up. Jesus, the curl route's open. He's not going to throw it there, though. And they're going to be short by four. We'll call a timeout. Never enough points. Never, ever enough points. You can never have enough. You got 100, get to 200. As it's 35 to 10 now with a minute and 11 left. And ball at half for us. I mean, what is going on here? Like, I know their defense isn't great, but their offense is causing this just as much as the defense. I mean, oh, Jesus. Offense is literally giving up points to Woolen. Of course, looking at Gamble, we obviously threw that interception, but outside of that, had some pretty good plays. Obviously, Hawkins. Whew, beautiful. He's got over 100 yards receiving in this game. Had that really good throw and catch where he just beat the linebacker barely. Would have been a really good interception if we didn't put, you know, the perfect ball on him. But, you know, unfortunately, Gamble sometimes can throw an absolute beauty. Of course, he would love to start running the ball at some point. But this is not the quarter situation to do it in. It's a little bit of a late throw. And... 2-2 Atwell with a catch. That's a bit of a catch there, buddy. Woodley. Ooh, that's a good defensive play. Thought he's going to run straight down the field. And I hesitated because I didn't know if he actually was. And my brain was right. He wasn't. But if I would have threw it early enough, it would have been treated as such. So, it's a bad play by us. That's a really good play by that guy. But he's going to miss. And no, I try to uh, I try to teeter it closer to the line. Woodley's excel like it's weird because Woodley is a way better athlete than Cole Turner. But once again, Cole Turner was just weirdly fast, and I'm not getting that with Woodley. Like I thought I could have easily got down the field a little bit more than I did. And Gamble throw it away. Taking the sack there would have derailed the entire thing. It's run two two Atwell's route even shorter, so Woodley's open. And that's a really good adjustment. Just hurry it to the line and spike it. 16 seconds from the 29 and a timeout. Not exactly sure what I'm getting at with Fergus in here, but I'm looking at it. That's a good throw. 2-2 two -two Atwell. Is it a Darden? Somebody to the 22. It's only going to gain a 7, but it is going to keep our first down dream alive, which gives us another look potentially to the end zone outside for 2-2 two -two Atwell. He has the leverage. Dropped. Damn it, dude. He actually, like, it's weird because it's, it's kind of like a penalty. Like, you can't get that fighty with him after five yards. 
Like, is he not PIing him? I mean, I suppose... I don't know, he's just not letting him get up there. That's a crazy try, though. I mean, he falls down, like, probably in the end zone or very close. You can see, you know, maybe his arms right there. But, yeah, it's going to lead to a field goal. Still a really good drive. Would like to finish a little bit better than that, but still a really good drive leading to points. Tucker, automatic. Start of the second half, up 38-10. to 10. What the hell even is this? I honestly don't. I think we were screwed either way. It looked like the guy went straight for the quarterback, and then Taylor got the running back anyway, so I don't know. I think we were screwed either way, but that was not a good play call, whatever the hell that was. It was interesting is what it was, but it was not effective. Darden, that's a tough throw. Gains about seven. Actually, ten. Forgot about that loss of four literally on the play that just happened. Uh, I don't like the inside run here, though, but I'm going to take it. Could you do like do you mind long? Do you mind getting out of the way? I thought he was gonna pick up the guy that was like the main focus, the linebacker, and he just he kinda got out there, did his job, and just slowed down. Why did he go so slow? That's a bad tackle attempt. Oh look at all the yards he's getting. Grown with a good tackle, but gaining about like 10, 15 on the play. See if Stearns can get his breakout if he can. Maddox tries to spin. Oh, picked off by Jabril. Pitch it. Oh, my God. Mahomes is some dog. What is wrong with this guy? I mean, he's just not open. Like, what is that? And you got to remember, Josiah Scott missed a pick six earlier. Like, think of that. As Hawkins getting in about five. Maybe not so much on the ground today, but really effective in the receiving game, without a doubt. To come with the press man, it looks like. So the option play seems like a decent call, as Gamble's going to get a lot of yards. Gilmore's going to get blocked. Gamble doesn't even get touched. 15 yards. We talked about it pregame. They had them themselves a chance to do all right in the first game we played, but too many turnovers. And that's a tough one. Good catch. Perfect. To the two. Speed option, 2-2 two, two Atwell's the lead man though. Well, not really the lead, but he's the guy that's got to hold it out there. Uh-oh. Yeah, maybe that's why you don't do something like that, but Gamble should get him. Look at Gamble running. Look at Gamble. Of course, you still have Hawkins as well. Good tackle, but... Man, I don't know who that was, but they came out like a rocket ship after Gamble and the pitch failed. That's the second fumble of the today, or was that? Yeah, that was second fumble today for Gamble. That sucks. Oh, my, that's a big hit on Mahomes. Please, relax. Don't hit Mahomes too hard. You want to keep him in the game. I don't know if those words have ever been said before. Yeah, we jumped the gun a little early. Jabril just completely misses. I mean, I wouldn't say this is their chance to get back in the game, but it's a chance to make it a little more respectable. You got to remember, this possession technically belonged to them beforehand, but they just threw a pick to... To Jabril. Oh, he just got thrown to the side. And Booker dropped what could have been Mahomes' fourth. Holy crap, this guy. I don't know, we ain't going to give him a free touchdown. What the hell? Burns. Come on, Jordan. You're wide open because of the... Oh, we just missed hard. Oh, what a cutback. Oh, my God. Just sent me down. Oh, this is a really good chance, though. For our boy Stearns to maybe pick up his second of the day. I can't get to him, though. Ah, oh, crap. And now we're going to leave him open. Fly is going to be a late hit on the quarterback, I suppose. Would have been really tough to stop him anyways, but got locked up by our own guy. Good blocking. <laughs> Blocked us up. I couldn't get out there. And now we're not choking like last week. This is not happening. Unless some crazy fumble out of our control happens. That last fumble was kind of just a bad decision. Damn, that's really good blocking from us. Good job, guys. I got to the 20, right? Get the heavy formation run. Giving Hawkins an opportunity here to pick up no blocks again. I lied. We are choking again. What do you want from me? What do you honestly want from me? All right, I'm choking. I actually really like that throw. You know, where he was probably supposed to be led would have led him right into a hit stick. But instead, it's third and inches now. I really want to just sprint out with this play. I don't want to run into the side where all their players are, but I also want to run into Deron Payne. We could have had so many more yards. Nice fight, but 
I was not willing to risk the first down. Too much indecisiveness could have led to them just beating us with a stick. Ferguson on that inside blocks. One thing that's good about Skymore being injured is we have Ferguson on that slot spot. Uh-oh, Gamble. Got a bit of a lead up. He's going to get the first down, be pushed out safely for a gain of 12. Read option's not working that well, but it's working a lot better this week than it did last week. Darden, the semi-burner. It's also really tiny. you got to be careful of that. Perfect throw inside. The double drag. Tried to truck him over with Ferg. Nice little completion to the 38. Read option. I kind of want to just hand this off no matter what. Oh, good blocking. First down. I thought that was... Well, not first down. Halfway the first down. I thought that was actually Gibbs. Option look. Nice blocking. Gets about five. This is a much better drive. Cutting into that deficit with another three. Well... You know, making it tougher for them to cut into the deficit with another three is going to be really big if we can do that. Ooh, hitters were throwing. Maybe drop back a little bit too far, especially for such a quick short throw route scheme. They're telling us to go for it. I think a field goal does enough here for us, though, to ignore that and just go for uh, the field goal instead. Because what is it, 21 points? 24 is a lot tougher to come back from than 21. 21's doable. Still gives you that field goal, like, you know, what is it called? Cushion. So, you know, they can give up another field goal and still be like, okay, well, we'll give up 24 now. But giving up 24 without one of the touchdowns back, that's that's tough. But at the same time, I suppose this gives them the notion that they, they have to go for two rather than before where if they, they don't go for two and then we kick the field goal, then they're in a really bad spot. Tyndall, nice drop back, and all over it is Cox. I thought he was going to get a piece of it. Mahomes, three interceptions. Yeah, I'm sorry, Stearns, but you're going to absolutely need to get one more play here if you want to become a superstar. Bull rush, not bad, but can't get through. Hit as he's throwing, and Tyndall picks it off. Oh, my God. In fairness to Mahomes, he's thrown two picks like that. That's harsh. It's about time that Maddox gets a little bit of love. Normally, it's Maddox eating the double team, and it's Jordan Davis making the play. Nice cut back outside. Great job by Ferg. Cut inside. Nice move down to the 25. Picking up some more yards on the ground. We love to see it. Ferguson on that interior lead. Potential post throw here. Oh, and he misses... Tough, tough looks. Ferg maybe scores there. Inside zone. Once again, they've really not wanted us to run, but not sure why that's a thing when the pass game's working just as well. And hell, the run game's still working. Gaining six. Gaining six on that front. I know they don't really have anyone outside, so if we would have broke the line of scrimmage, they'd have been in some trouble, which is exactly what happened. Five receivers. 2-2 two -two Atwell to the end zone. Ferguson to the end zone. Darden underneath. And they back off. Darden easily gets it and avoids getting to the 10, giving us another first down chance on top of it to waste more clock and give us a higher percentage of scoring regardless of the point. That's crazy. Could Ben Mason perhaps receive the ball here? Oh, I didn't. Oh, I last seconded it. I saw they waited and I should have handed it off. I don't know if he would have actually done anything with it anyways, but... Suppose Justin Tucker's happy. Another field goal for the JT himself. Bringing sexy back all over here. Oh crap. We gotta leave the running back. Oh, nice hit by Tyndall. It's kind of why we had to. They, they would have had a lot more yards to the right. Yeah, I mean, look at our defensive rank. It's 172 yards allowed today, though. But once again, we've seen in the past where this little stat patter, we call them Pat Statter last time. His name's Pat Mahomes, and because I'm an idiot, <laughs> he got like 400 yards with like three times, three picks or something like that. It's crazy. Come on, Burns. Somebody force one. Ah, we missed. Stearns. Ah. Stearns needs one more. Please. The bull rush like never works for us. Of course, that tackle ain't working either. Oh, look at the moves. Good tackle though by Burns following through. Because he has to cover the running back and Anderson had a chance. Down to the 16 yard line. Flag. Oh, what a hit. It's 
got to be a hold on them. Ah, I tried to get off last second there. <laughs> hey, I did. I mean, they do realize the clock is, like, gone, right? Like, all these underneath plays aren't going to do you a damn thing if you don't score. Like, what are you doing? Oh, he gets trucked. He would have missed it anyways by a yard, but still. Stearns tries to celebrate hard there. <laughs> I guess. Third and 11. That's a behind the line of throw. Tyndall misses. Two-yard gain. Way to go, boys. Really, uh, really making plays here. Stearns kind of last chance at it, to be honest. Probably the last play of the game for him. Oh, I thought he was going over here. I mean, holds on. Wow, okay. Good job, boys. Just reward Mahomes for being trash. Good job. Yeah, go for the onside kick. I'm sure you have a good chance at it. I'm sure of it. Yeah, I'm sure of it. <laughs> good job, boys. Score's going to look a little bit better than it is, but... Man, how much time do they actually waste this quarter? Like, it's gone. And that is the victory after a choke job of a game last week. Kind of was starting to think, uh-oh, maybe that's going to happen here again. But it didn't, obviously. We win by 20. Not a whole lot of scoring in the second half. Not a whole lot of scoring needed in the second half. Kind of just wasted clock. They helped us even more than we would have expected them to. They really wanted to leave that game. And Gamble puts up another pretty good performance. Obviously, we're letting it slip away a little bit. You know, the completion percentage kind of falls a little bit. And that interception, we just want to eliminate those types of plays. But ultimately, when it comes down to it, a victory is a victory. And Gamble is having himself a pretty good season, especially on the ground as well. Mahomes getting completely destroyed. Gamble, obviously, 369, three touchdowns with a pick. Rushing, you know, Hawkins, 13 for 52. Gamble, 7 for 41. Did have those two fumbles, unfortunately. But Gibbs, 5 for 29 with a touchdown. Uh, receiving, of all players, 2-2 two -two Atwell. 115 yards for two touchdowns. Woodley, 97 yards. Uh, Ferguson, only two catches for 32. Hawkins, two for 108 with a touchdown. Darden got involved even. Of course, Sky Moore early injured. No sacks, but a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure causing interceptions as well. Stearns, unfortunately, unless he had a forced fumble, which he didn't, will not get his breakout either. This one's a little bit more, you know, expected for him to fail because, you know, you need two. But still pretty good overall team performance. And Tucker with a lot of kicks successfully again. I still can't believe we scored 31 in the second quarter, dude. The choke jobs. We have a couple upgrades. Nothing crazy, but 2-2 Atwell with that release, man. I want him to be a good medium route runner, but you get the most release from deep threat, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to go with slot, though, just to see. Because, of course, that is kind of what he is. Three medium. Oh, that's a really good upgrade. But, man, that release, once again, it's a really good upgrade. But his release sucks. Of course, let's take a look at uh, the break. Oh, new injury. What was, oh, wait. Did we lose a linebacker long term? Oh, no. Sky Moore is out for four weeks. Three weeks, technically. F actually, two weeks, technically, because of the bye. That, come, that came out perfect timing, didn't it? So we lose him for two games. Uh, I mean, I'll take a look just in case there was something. Yeah. I don't think so. I mean, we won the game. We locked down Mahomes, so no, I don't. <laughs> Maybe if you really want him only to get success, sure. But as far as us winning games goes, we got, you know, all of our goals for the game done and the victory. So, no, don't. But 7-3, to three, the Cowboys keep winning too. Football team obviously lost two games to us. The Eagles are 1-8. and eight. Their season's done already. And that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoy this one, which, I mean, it was a little easy. I don't know what Mahomes is up to, but... Maybe leave a like. Maybe subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, really, 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 really do appreciate continued support. Maybe uh, follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, second channel, Care Plays. And then, yeah, I don't know if there's going to be another video later today. If there was one already earlier today or what's the story. But, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video where we play the Bills, see ya!